Hey everybody, this is my 20 long office tank and I recently put a new light on it. I did have uh, a 5000 K under cabinet light above it and it sort of homogeneously lit the whole tank and it looked pretty good except my plant there, my emergent temple plant was growing up into it. So instead of raising the light bar higher and higher, I actually just hung a floodlight directly from the ceiling just from a simple eye hook and I like the effect I'm just not crazy about the color temperature of the light the only floodlight I had was a 3000 K which is a pretty soft color temperature you can see that sort of yellowy orange light we've got in there it makes it look like late afternoon and I've said before that that's nice in some regards this uh light is actually on fairly late at night this is the last one i turn off at night so i'm sitting in here in the office until midnight some nights and having that softer light definitely is good for the old brain as far as helping you get to sleep better uh, rather than a, a more of a daylight or a blue sort of colored light a cool light but i just don't like this soft light all day long to me it just looks like we're perpetually in early morning or late afternoon and I don't know why, but I just find that bothersome. It just seems like the water's not brightly lit enough, or I've got too much tannins in there, or something. But I've never liked that really soft light on a fish tank for some reason. So we are going to switch it over and see what we think about a 5000K simple floodlight. Now this one's all plastic. The one that's in there is actually all glass and if you looked at it you would just think it was a standard old school floodlight but it is actually an LED. This one's all plastic and when you look at it you can see that it's got a little cob in there, a little chip on board as they call it and it's pretty intense for what it is. I think this is an 11 watt light and again, it's a floodlight, not a spotlight. The other one I have is a spotlight, and it shined straight down in the middle of the tank and did not look right at all. So this is basically going to be the same effect that we're getting here. It's just going to be a different color temperature. So hang on half a second. Let me get it switched out. Uh, there's your before. And there's your after. So I like that a lot better. I think that looks a lot better than that really soft 3000K we had on there before. Now, I also used a little more foil around the light itself to focus more of the light downwards and prevent me from being blinded as I sit over here next to the tank and very much down below that light. So if you look at the light itself hanging there, it doesn't necessarily look all that great. It does look like a big wad of aluminum foil hanging from the ceiling. But if you don't pay attention to the light and just look at the effect it gives on the tank, that I really like. And the temple plant there in the middle was starting to struggle a little bit underneath of the other light. But I don't know whether that had anything to do with the color temperature or possibly the intensity of it. The light I had on there before was a very um, diffused light, I'll say. It was this, actually. I've still got it sitting right here. It was this under cabinet light. Uh, the whole thing's only 15 watts, and I'll grant you what we've got hanging up there now is only 11 watts, but it's 11 watts of a centralized cob with a focal lens concentrating all that light downward in a you know fairly narrow beam relatively speaking whereas this is simply diffusing the light in 180 degrees all the way down the whole entire length of this that same you know 15 watts worth of lighting so it lights up a nice wide area it gives you a nice even distribution of light and it gave us a nice even homogeneous lighting across the tank there but it wasn't a very intense lighting and then to switch that from you know to put that plant from that to this with a beam you know directly above it shining down like that uh, it's entirely likely that it was simply the intensity of the light that was causing me to have a little bit of issues. You can already see how it's growing just a little to the right 
uh, it was really doing that for the first day or so, and I think the whole plant has sort of leaned over and is now more focused directly under the hanging light, uh, whereas when we started this, it was much more to the left and was just growing sort of straight up into that under cabinet light. Now it's growing right towards the center of where that light source is, but all in all, I think the light uh, won't be too much for it. I think it'll adjust once it gets used to having the higher lighting on it. Uh, those sort of shriveled, curled up leaves will sort themselves out and will be doing okay again. Uh, I've got four, maybe five flowers blooming at the moment right now. I don't think it's going to be a prolific flowerer. I think we're going to get flowers, but I don't think it's going to explode into bloom all at once. We're going to get, you know, two or three, four flowers going on down here. And by the time these are finishing up and dropping off, I've already got one or two floating in the water. Uh, you know, by the time these are dropping off, you'll see the next couple starting to open up. And it'll sort of be a sequence of, you know, the lower ones are going to be dying off as the higher up ones are filling in. And that's okay. I don't mind flowers that do that. It would have been nice to see a big explosion of color all over. But having it bloom like this will give us a longer bloom cycle and we'll get to enjoy those dainty little flowers for a little while longer. So all in all, I'm much, much happier with it being that 5,000K rather than that 3,000K. So you are certainly welcome to leave me your opinion down below in the comment section. And as always, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything. You never know what it's going to be with me. So thanks again for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you real soon in the next one.